Christian's gonna show me how to drift. Yes, <laughs> I am. So he's driving my super right now. And I just went out on the skid pad and I couldn't really figure it out. The 350Z was definitely a lot easier to drift. Yeah, this car is extremely twitchy. This car tends to understeer a lot huh? on entry, so you kind of have to like kind of be a little bit aggressive. Oh, I see. Okay. So let's start with these two cones right here. <laughs> So I noticed that, okay, so my biggest problem is I was falling out of boost uh -huh. and then it would just Once grip you back fall up. out of boost, yeah. it's gonna understeer. Yeah, that's what I'm having. guaranteed. Yeah. So you have to either make sure you're pointing to the direction to prevent the understeer uh -huh. or just stay planted on the gas. Uh -huh. More than likely, if you stay planted on the gas, you're gonna over throttle it uh -huh. and it's gonna rotate. Yeah. But at least you'll get the feeling of oversteer instead of constantly trying to fight understeer. Oh, uh, okay. All right, uh, can I give it a shot? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then you, you can instruct me and tell me everything I'm doing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right, let's, let's give this a go. All right, so Ken's gonna watch me <laughs> hopefully not totally fail, but it's so cool driving with a pro driver. Thanks so much for doing this. He thinks I'm a pro. <laughs> I mean, I saw you whipping the IS300, you're so smooth. Okay, so, aggressive turn in while your friends are watching. <laughs> And then the most important thing is you gotta keep your eyes on your target. So I'll be keeping out on the coach. Yes. Okay. Okay, so I'm not keeping the throttle. What you're doing is you're modulating too much. You go yeah. into power, you get out of power. You go into power, you get out of power. Okay. Like if you watch the way I was throttle input, uh -huh. it was a little bit more still, steady. Yeah. Yeah. steady yeah. Right? Okay. So if you find that sweet spot, all you gotta do is just balance the throttle input with your steering input. Okay, okay. down too much What am I doing here? He doesn't even need me. Oh my god. I'm so stoked right now. I just needed you in the car with me, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, I need some shots of Ken drifting my car from the outside. Um, this is so fun. This might get expensive really quick. I might just have to keep buying tires. This is so cool, kids driving my car. It's so slow. Drifting. Hey, 
looks sad. That looks so good. I need one as a daily now. Yeah. <laughs> do you wait? Do you not have one as a daily? Not as a daily. Oh, you just have the Formula D car. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. What Ken was saying, the window, like the sweet spot's really tight with this car. With the 350Z, you could almost be anywhere, and it would still drift. But this one, it's like you gotta find that one spot, and then once you get there, you can hold it, and then everything becomes a lot smoother. But this is definitely fun because it's crazy feeling the boost because it's my first boosted car. So I totally get what people mean when they say they're falling out of boost. Yeah, you want to keep it in the power band. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, cool. And especially because you don't have a clutch pedal, yeah. it's more crucial and important that you stay within that power band. All right, so Ken is going to take me out in his IS300. Super is cool, but you can't actually like make that a drift car. This is like a, there's no way I can full send that. Like he did just now in first turn. I can't I can't do that with the super. Hey, so you think I can do the same thing you did turn one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So just go try it right now. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do a pull down lap for one lap. Okay, yeah. Thanks for making it all the way through the video. Um, yeah, sorry it's been a while since I uploaded. I promise I'm getting back on schedule. Uh, I've been filming a lot of content over the past uh, couple weeks. Uh, so expect the videos to come out regularly. Um, but yeah, that day was a lot of fun. Uh, I did not expect to meet Kangushi there. That was really cool. I guess a lot of my, you know, drifter friends are mutuals with him, which I guess makes sense because you know, the motorsports community, especially the drifting community, is kind of small. Everyone knows each other. Um, but yeah, it was really cool. I'm super thankful that he was uh, 
open to giving me some, less, some lessons on the car. Um, it's definitely weird uh, drifting an automatic car, um, but uh, it was a lot of fun and um, I still have a lot to learn because that car has a lot of power, a lot of torque, and it only likes drifting at like this much of the RPM range. And actually, if you noticed in the video, uh, when Ken, Ken was driving, uh, his steering inputs are like pretty easy going, nice and easy. But then when I'm trying to drift, I'm just like, ah, like crazy hands. So like, um, that is something I definitely need to work on. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.